Go back to that news conference earlier today. Officials saying students did as trained. There's been a lot of discussion about that. There had been recent training in that area. Simple planning and communication between administrators, teachers, and students can save lives, and it is happening inside schools right here at home in Kentuckyana. That's right, and tonight our Shea McAllister talking with a local expert, and Shea, he suggests really what they call intruder drills. It's his number one piece of advice, Rachel. The former FBI agent I talked to today has experience in these kinds of situations. He says, much like you would practice a fire drill or tornado drill, schools really need to be running this thing known as intruder drills. When the unimaginable happens, experts say the best thing a school can do is be prepared. Nobody really likes to talk about this, but you know, with just some proper preparation, you could really cut down the pot, you know, the casualties or, and make things just uh, go a lot smoother. Greg Gitcher considers himself an expert in this kind of planning. He has a history doing threat assessments as a member of the FBI, and now he's using that experience to discover vulnerabilities inside Kentucky and schools. All these schools are different. School behind me has seven levels, you know, and, and the room numbers don't match up. So if this is the first time for a police officer or a paramedic or EMT coming in, it's very easy to get lost. He says it's important for a school to know the best way to get first responders in and students out. That's a plan that should be shared with local police. He also suggests teachers learn how to secure their classrooms. If you're gonna keep your children, your students in the class, you wanna somehow secure the door, even if you have to put some desk up in front of it, turn the lights off, get in the corner away from the window. That's a process he says should be practiced with students. He calls it an intruder drill. If they hear shots fired, or if they hear an alarm or a PA announcement, what are they going to do? He says it's a plan that should be practiced and perfected because if something does happen, every minute matters. And he calls his program Rapid Response and offers it to all schools and businesses in the area. He says active shooter situations have become all too common for anyone to think it won't happen to them. Shay McAllister, WHAS 11 News.